pencil holder makes a great accessory for your desk or it's a great gift to give. It just uses a few simple materials and it's easy to make. So let me show you how. For this project, you will need a round empty snack container, thick cord or yarn, scissors, and craft glue. Start by spreading glue on about a third of the can at a time. All the way around, make sure you get that bottom edge. Right now we're gonna take our yarn or cord and we're gonna start wrapping that around. Make sure that you get the end glued down really well before you start. Work slowly and stay close to the edge. Then when you get back to the beginning, just take it one layer up and keep wrapping all the way around your can, keeping the yarn layers close together. Once you get to the place where the glue ends, hold that in place for just a couple seconds. Stick. And go ahead and add more glue. Now, depending on how quickly you're working, maybe you want to put glue on the rest of the can. And you want to make sure you get around that top edge. Right, and then continue wrapping until you get to the top. When you get to the top, make sure that you can't see any of the can um, through your cord or yarn like I have here. So it's easy to fix. You just press down and sort of scooch those layers down until those gaps have disappeared. So check and make sure your can is all covered. Then it's probably best to add one more go round of the glue just under the rim of the can. To make sure that that yarn is nice and tight at the end. Cut the yarn or cord off and add an extra blob of glue where that yarn ends so that you can keep it in place securely. Sort of tuck it in there so it doesn't show so much. I'm going to go back and add some glue to the beginning spot here as well. And now we're going to set that aside for the time being and cut three pieces of your um, yarn or cord about 24 inches, two feet. Cut three pieces because we're going to make a braid. Leave about four or five inches or so and tie a knot with all the strands. One side of your yarn. And then you're going to braid the other three strands. Now you might want to tape the top of this to a table to make it easier. Now you're going to braid the strands together until it's long enough to fit all the way around the top of your container. So you'll have to stop and measure a few times. So I'm measuring my braid here to make sure it's long enough to go all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point, but that's about right. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue again, and I'm going to put a generous amount of glue all the way around on the outside rim. Then you're going to untie the knot from the top end of the braid and start right where you untied the knot. and stick on that braid all the way around, just at a slight angle going in so that it's covering the rim of that container. 
I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes before I continue on. Once the glue has set a little bit, I'm going to tie a knot um, to connect the two ends together. Not too tight, you don't want to pull it off, so just a loose knot. Cut off the extra ends of the cord and then unravel the ends of the cord on both sides so that it's nice and fuzzy. All right, once the yarn is all unraveled to make a tassel, you can trim the ends. I like to do it about three inches or so. And then you can taper the edges if you would like so it's a little bit rounded. And you're finished. Please subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing you great crafts. There's new videos every week, so you don't want to miss one.